There we go. Right here. This is where we're gonna do it. Right up in there. Here's the interior. We're just on just on the lip, just on the edge of the little dirt escarpment here. This is the interior of Dolomite Island. You can see right here is a path. We had to chop our way up here, climb up this mud embankment. I'd say we're 10 feet off the river now, maybe. It looks like there might be some type of clearing there. To see if we can get a delay of the land without all this vegetation. Right about where we are, the island here, is probably the widest it's going to be. It's somewhere between, I know it's 400 feet, it could be four to 600 feet, depending on how high the river is, and the river being at 3.2 today, it may be more closer to 600, but I'm remembering measurements that I made years ago, so I'm not quite sure. It's, it's pretty wide at this point. This is the main event, this is the main chunk of the island. Remember, this side goes up gradually. That side falls off abruptly. Let's see if we can make it to that clearing. All right, guys, so I think we have hacked our way to the middle of the island. Probably not more than a couple hundred feet in, but it gets really thick. I just spent about 10 minutes hacking through, cut a line up here, and then right in the middle of the island, um, there's this big clearing. I don't know what this is and why this is here, but... um. It's just boom right here. The, wood, the, the, the woods pick up again there and they pick up again there. It's just this big clearing right in the middle. I can't see any rock. I can't see any bedrock. The surface is definitely kind of undulating. It's not perfectly flat, but I have not seen anything. No outcrops or anything. Um, and this is probably about as high as we're going to get up above the river, which I'd say is probably 20 feet, maybe 25. Uh, possible we got a ways to go till we hit the bridge so it's possible it gets a little bit higher up there I'm not sure again this is a big island the whole island itself I think is 20 I want to say 27 acres and this part of it down here is probably you know 20 it's the big part it's really hot in here though it's hot and swampy let's go across here since this is easy just walking let's just cut across here and see what the forest does on the other side because we still have a couple hundred more feet till we get to the to the Lancaster Channel I haven't seen anything in terms of deer or anything yet. You see this right here? There's a depression right here. Oh, it's hot. Outlining with my machete here. I wonder if that's a sinkhole. Yeah, this is definitely a depression right here. That's for sure. Yeah, there's deer beds all over the place here. All right, now we're in some forest that's not actually something you have to chop your way through. And I just spotted some cool, fine wood here. You see that? How it's twisted. You cut it right there, and right there, carve it. This is really the heart of the island. So let's, let's go this way. The, uh, the surface is very uneven here. Got something here. There's definitely a depression here. There's like mounds. All I can say is it's, it's, it's like almost like there's these mounds placed irregularly. Oh, here. There's another, another dip. That looks like just 
That looks like a sink right there. So I'm, uh, I came across a path. So there's actually several paths. I don't know if these are deer paths or game trails or trail trails. like a big depression right here but it's overgrown let's keep going this way now this that's a sink I mean what else could that be right here see that that's a sinkhole I mean we're right in the, in the middle of the island I mean what's it doing there what is that hole there? There's lots of webs here. Lots of lantern flies. Nymphs and mature lantern flies. Oh my god, yeah, look at that right there. That's a sinkhole. Uh, okay, so I think I'm getting pretty close to the Lancaster, the Lancaster Channel, which is right over here. This, this dense fo foliage seems to happen going towards the shore, going towards the perimeter, the exterior of the island. And then once you get to the middle, it's a little more like a regular, it's like a regular forest in here. I mean, I could be anywhere, you know, on in Lancaster County or, or York County, but it is a weird surface. It's undulating. It's not, it's not a normal. And there's these holes, I think, which I think are sinkholes. And I am finding some of these uh, I am finding some nice game trails. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to try to go down river right on the crest, the top of the island towards the Shocks Mill Bridge. I'm almost down to my last liter of water. So I have to start thinking about not running out of water. And I, ideally, maybe, maybe if we get stopped going that way, we can always take the uh, we can always cut our way back to the riverside and then hike on down <laughs> if we want to. But uh, right now I'm gonna see if we can't get farther deeper into the into the sweet spot here on Dolomite Island oh, man. This, uh, this is turning into a Jurassic Park here man blue sky so much for the thunderstorms, huh? All right. I was seeing some ferns earlier. There's trails, quite a few trails here, but there's a lot of webs too. I saw a couple more sinks too, just shallow things. I'm gonna chop my way back to, to the riverside just to see what's there. See, look at these ferns. So they're like, there's this understory of fernage here that only really gets so much light. You see this little spot right here? All right, here you go. I mean that, yeah. This is, here's a sink right here. Absolutely. I mean, what else is this gonna be? Right there. Boom. Right here. Very obvious. Shallow. Shallow depression, but a depression nonetheless. When it pours, when it rains, and the water falls here, or here, there's one right there too. The water falls here, it has only one way to go down into the bedrock. So I think that if we find more of what we have been finding, which are quite a few of these shallow sinks, dole lines. That's gonna be a pretty good indicator that there's, you know, something's going on underneath us here in terms of the water getting underground. Is 
a nice nice tree here nice 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 size tree right in the middle of the island hello straight there's another small clearing they have big big sycamores here all right let's get starting to get hot i gotta get back down to the water get some water this just goes on and on and on There's another big depression right there. This is just a weird place. Here's another fern, fernscape. Oh, there's so many spiders though. I need to get that way. There's crisscrossing trails everywhere, which kind of suck you back in to the middle of the island. The island is trying to keep me here forever. All right, I'm going this way. Even if I got a hack, I gotta go because it's it's super swampy in the interior. And it's, uh, oh, look at those mushrooms though. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Can you tell I sharpened my machete? <laughs> in light of what they found, Dried up Lake Mead. I'm not gonna look inside that barrel. All right, let's get chopping. I don't want to, I certainly don't want to get stuck in here. If it, if it rains, if we get hit by a thunderstorm. Yep, yeah, a hackathon here. There is a trail kinda, but I don't think the interior of this island sees, sees, sees much visitation. So I don't actually know where I am. Uh, Blankets are sized kind of that way. The riverside's kind of that way, but the crest of the island just kind of sucks you in. You just kind of follow a trail here. You jump here, you go there. Next thing you know, you're back on the inside when you want to go to the outside. But right here, right here is a nice clearing. It's all ferns. The whole thing is fernage with knotweed around the perimeter. But something's going on right here that uh, the ferns seem to love it. It is kind of like a bowl right here. So this might actually be a, a very large but shallow sink. And there are no trees here. And you gotta kind of wonder why. I did kind of find what looks to be a, somewhat of a trail right here leading to the riverside. So let's, uh, let's see where that goes. All right, I hit some stinging nettle. My legs are kind of burning. I got a straight shot, I think, to the river, but I'm, um, pretty much completely blocked off so we're gonna we're going we're gonna go ape on this thing with the machete ready Shetty, get your heart pumping. All right, let's get down to the water because I gotta, I gotta rinse off. Oh, we made it. I made it to the riverside. I'm out of breath. It's water. My legs are, I just steam from that nettle. 
and there's there's Shocksmell Bridge. We're we're pretty much at the end of the island right here. And there's the Dolomite. It, you can, it's you can, it's everywhere to be seen, right here, along the coast. But you go inland, nothing. Just just dense woods and, and shallow sinks. Oh, look at that. Is that bald eagle? I think I just saw a bald eagle with a fish. All right, I'm gonna go down here to the very end of the island and then we're gonna chillax, get some water, maybe eat another cliff bar. Don't forget to subscribe, ding dong my bell for notifications. I think it's fixing the rain here soon. So probably a good time to uh, head back over to the Lancaster side, Shocks Mill Bridge. That's the part that got washed out. I love this bridge. I just love, love the way it ages and the, it's the masonry. Um, I wish a, I wish a train would go over right now. The wind's picking up though. So yeah, that's the that's the far down river tip of the island. Let's see if we can get across here without getting swept downstream, right? You see that right there? I don't want to get caught in that. I want to go this way. That looks like it's moving fast. There is a rocky island right there. There's the river trail. I don't think it's going to get that deep. I hope not. This water feels colder than that water. Current's picking up. Kind of lean in a little bit. See that? I don't want to get sucked down in that. Let's stay away from there. Let's go up a little bit, then go over. Because the current right here is pretty strong. Big rip. Woo! We made it. This is Brett for Topo Ranger. Signing out.